Here is a stereo clip that was recorded in the field. My voice is up here on the odd number track, channel one, and the guest's voice is on the right channel. If I play these back, let's just take a listen. Will Pizneski is the VP of post-production for Authentic Entertainment. Based in Burbank, they specialize in creating reality programs. He's also using the core... Notice that my voice is exclusively on the left-hand channel. When I go to the guest... High volumes of media, high volumes of field tapes... His voice is predominantly on the right-hand channel, but we have some bleed going back, so it's a little bit on the left, but principally on the right. All coming in at once, uh, trying... Well, when I'm editing this, I want to have separate gain control over my voice versus the guest's voice. I want us to stay in sync, but I want to be able to trim them differently, and I want to be able to adjust the volumes differently. The way we do that is we've got to convert it from being a stereo clip, where I don't have that control, to dual channel mono, where I do. So let's go back to our clip, go up to the clip menu, go down to modify, and set modify audio channels. Notice that it's defaulting to stereo. If I change it to mono and change the number of audio clips from one to two, now I see that I've got a dual channel mono. If I had four audio tracks, I'd change this to four. If I had eight audio tracks, and some gear records eight separate tracks, I would change this to eight. When I click OK and now edit this down to the timeline, notice that now it hasn't edited to a single track. It's edited my voice to track A1 and the guest's voice to track A2. There we go, open that up. Now we can clearly see there's my voice and there's the guest's voice. If I want to trim this, let's just zoom in. Grab the roll, whoops, I gotta hold the option key down. Option click on just one clip so I can trim that. I could trim it so I just hear the guest voice at this point rather than mine. Or if I want to set the level on my clip, I can grab the audio level on my clip and make it louder. Grab the audio level on his clip and make it softer. So because they're on separate tracks, I have the ability to trim them differently and set audio levels differently. If you don't hold the option key down, when you select one side or the other, both clips are selected. If you hold the option key down, you can select one side of the clip or the other side of the clip without selecting both. But wait a minute, I hear people say. There's a, there's a, a thing in the timeline, a button you can click. If we look back in the top left corner, you see this thing right here. It says linked selection. When that's turned off, then you can click either side of a linked clip, including the video, and select just a single audio track or just a video track. That's very true. But the problem is you've turned off linking for every clip in your project. This is like asking for a complete catastrophe to occur to guarantee that your clips are going to get out of sync. Don't do it. What you want instead is you want the option of selecting just one track or the option of selecting just the other. Hold the option key down and you're able to select just track one or track two. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the basics of audio for video. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 178. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.